today. ¿Y cómo se enteraron de este ministerio de la sinagoga y iglesia de todas las naciones y cómo pudieron viajar desde Alemania para estar aquí hoy? Yo no conocía la sinagoga, no conocía, fue, fue por un intermedio de la mujer de mi amigo aquí, que conocía la iglesia, dijo que yo que tenía que ir aquí. Yo dije que no vinha porque era muy longe, metía un poco de, de dudas, ¿no? Y, y después fui viendo en la internet, en YouTube, cómo era, y así, y así vi. Manuel TV. Ah, Manuel TV. No YouTube. She said that she didn't know anything about the ministry of Prophet TB Joshua before when she was living in Germany and it was through her friend's uh, husband, the man standing here, uh, that actually told them about the ministry and that is when uh, she went on the internet, on YouTube and also discovered Emmanuel TV and started watching for herself. So as you watched Emmanuel TV, your faith grew, and by the grace of God, you came to the Synagogue Church of All, last, Synagogue Church of All Nations last week. Can you describe to us what happened to you as the new morning water was ministered in the name of Jesus Christ? Ahora, si nos puede explicar qué exactamente sucedió cuando le fue ministrada con el, la nueva agua de la mañana la semana pasada, ¿cuál fue su experiencia? Eu mudei totalmente, estou bem, o meu corpo está, está ótimo, sinto as pernas, sinto a circulação do sangue, posso caminhar, não me, dá, não me faz mal o estômago, estou bem. Estou. A diarreira já acalmou, a menstruação já veio, tenho tudo de bom. She said that in that moment when the morning water, the new morning water was ministered to her, she was totally restored and healed. She said that she began to walk. Not only that, after that she began feeling her body, that she could go to the toilet normally, and also her menstruation, which she had not seen for two years, started to flow again. So she's so happy that she has everything back to normal. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So, madame, it's been one week now. Just tell us again, what are the changes that you've seen in your entire body since that encounter with Jesus Christ through the new morning water? Ahora, durante esta semana, dinos otra vez, ¿cuáles son los cambios que has visto en tu cuerpo durante esta semana? ¿Cuáles son las cosas que ahora puedes hacer? Puedes hacer todo. Caminar, urinar, menos diarreira, estou bem, estou bem, estou bem. Não necessito de, de, de cadeia de rodas para caminhar, estou feliz. E as catetas, estou feliz da minha vida. A menstruação está, está tudo bem, não posso estar melhor. Não posso pedir mais nada a Jesus, tenho tudo, graças a Deus. She said that now she can do everything again, that she doesn't need the wheelchair, she can walk without the wheelchair, and she said that she doesn't need the catheter to urinate, she can urinate freely, uh, she, she doesn't need uh, the diapers, she no more diarrhea, and she said that now she's uh, seeing her menstruation for the first time in two years, she doesn't need this card because she, she's no longer disabled, and uh, she's so happy. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. And even, madame, we can see some, some uh, unusual shoes and boots that are beside you here. Uh, could you just explain why you had to use these before? And since the prayer, we can see you're no longer using them to the glory of God. También podemos ver unos eh, zapatos especiales aquí. Y no, ¿Nos puede explicar un poco acerca de esos y por qué ya no, no, ya no, no los necesitas? No, no los quiero, no. Son zapatos ortopédicos, los doctores ya hace ocho años que los tengo y no los quiero más. She said that these are special orthopedic shoes uh, given to her by the doctor that she used for eight years, but now she doesn't need them anymore. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time.
And once again, for the glory of God, we know that for eight long years, our mother Kia has been restricted to the use of the wheelchair, but she's been healed to the glory of God through the ministration of the new morning water. So once again, to demonstrate your wonderful healing to the people of God, we want you to rise to your feet and just walk in our midst to testify to the goodness of God in your life. Ahora para la gloria de Dios, después de esa maravillosa sanidad, queremos que usted pueda manifestar esa gloria, esa sanidad, caminando en el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah. Once again, we want to remind our viewers that our mother had this problem for more than eight long years. She was unable to walk. She was on a wheelchair, but we can see her walking right now. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. She came all the way from Germany in that wheelchair due to the very severe nerve damage. She could not feel her legs at all. She was completely paralyzed from the waist down. You can see her walking freely right now after the ministration of the new morning water. This is someone who actually had to come in a wheelchair from Germany. Here she is walking. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, indeed, a million thanks are not enough for what Jesus Christ has done for this lady. And we give all the glory to God that we are a living witness to the divine healing she received in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give all the glory to God Almighty. So, finally, madam, we'd like to ask your, your word of advice to our viewers all over the world. We know there are many people who are watching your testimony right now. What is your word of advice and encouragement to our viewers? Damos gracias a Dios y finalmente, ¿cuál es tu palabra de consejo para toda la gente que están viendo ese testimonio? Para tener esperanza, mucha fe en Jesús Cristo. Mucha fe. Amén. She said that she wants to encourage people that they should not lose hope, that they should continue to trust in Jesus Christ. So right now we'd like to hear from her sister as well, who's witnessed her pain and now witnessed her wonderful healing in Jesus' name. So Madame, first of all, can you introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and what can you say about the wonderful healing your sister received? Si nos puede presentar diciendo su nombre y de dónde viene y quiénes son esas personas. Yo soy María Dulce, estoy, soy de Portugal y más vivo en Alemania. Estoy a acompañar a mi hermana y aquí mi colega que nos trouxe a sinagoga. She said that her name is Maria and she comes from Portugal. The lady beside her is her sister and the man uh, is their friend and they've come from Portugal today to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Can you tell us about your sister before? Uh, you witnessed her for eight years. She was in the wheelchair. Can you tell us what was it like seeing your sister in this condition? Nos puede explicar durante ese ocho años cómo, o sea, cómo estaba la condición de su hermana cuando no podía caminar. Emanuela. Hombre de Dios, obrigada por ter escolhido a minha irmã. Eu hoje, agora sinto que ela é outra mulher. Antes estava paralisada de tudo. Eu nesta semana, desde que ela tomou a água da manhã, e está totalmente diferente. A seu, o seu mal estar passou. Uh, as suas mãos se modificaram, os seus pés, um, tudo nela, no corpo dela, a alegria dela, outra mulher que aqui encontramos em sinagoga. She says she wants to thank the man of God for this wonderful healing that she re her sister received in Jesus' name. That before, her sister w was not like a human being. She, she couldn't walk, she couldn't do anything, uh, she, she, couldn't, she was just paralyzed. But now, after the ministration of the new morning water, her sister has come back to her real self again. That now she can do everything, she can walk, and she just wants to thank God. 
And we heard about the wonderful testimony also about ceased menstruation for two years that also came back after the new morning water was ministered. What can you say about this? Y también acerca del testimonio de la menstruación que durante dos años su hermana no, no vio su menstruación y después de la menstruación del agua de la mañana, eh, o sea, ella podía ver el flujo de menstruación. ¿Qué puedes decir acerca de eso? Pronto no es solo la menstruación en sí, eh, fue bueno eh, la menstruación ter venido, mas, eh, por tanto, una persona que ve a mi hermana todos los días, a que ve el sufrimiento, el malestar, el choro, a, a, a angustia de ella, el sufrimiento de ella todos los días, de no ser una persona normal, a ser como un bebé, a no tener voluntad de orinar, de hacer todo para, para a fralda. Y solo quien está en la casa y quien acompaña a ella 24 horas a que ven el sufrimiento de mi de mi hermana y ahora gracias a Dios gracias a Dios. She says she wants to thank God for the wonderful miracle in her sister's life. Before she had to be with her 24 hours a day. She couldn't do anything by herself. She couldn't urinate by herself. She couldn't defecate by herself. Even she wasn't seeing her menstruation. But after the ministration of the new morning water, now her sister can do everything by herself. She doesn't need the diapers, she doesn't need the catheter. She she's seeing her menstruation, so she gives the glory to God. So we also want to hear from you, uh, from the brother here who introduced them to the ministry of Emmanuel TV and has witnessed this wonderful transformation in their lives. So sir, what can you say about the condition? First of all, tell us your name and where you come from. Me llamo Ernesto Toboco. In English. My name is Ernesto Toboco. I'm from Equatorial Guinea. I live in Germany. Who are they? Okay. So I came here. I was surprised. This woman it was bad, bad, bad. Now I was surprised. I give glory to God. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. This woman is worker. A surprise. God. Thank you, God. He, know, he cannot walk he cannot go out, but now I see the worker, only in one, at, I give glory to God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ, for this wonderful miracle. Hallelujah. One more time, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So people of God and uh, viewers all over the world, we want to use the testimony of our sister as an encouragement to everyone who is watching right now, especially those of us who are present here in the church. If God Almighty could heal this lady who came all the way from Germany in a wheelchair, what is your own problem that God will not solve? So far as you are here today, and that new morning water enters your mouth, your life will never remain the same again. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. No, just think about that. How many of us here have a card that declares us medically disabled? How many of us came from another country in a wheelchair? And here you are today in the arena of liberty. And you think that your own problem will not be solved? If God can do it for this lady, he will do it for you today. This is someone that didn't know about the synagogue church whole nation. She didn't know about Prophet T.B. Joshua. Someone just holds her in Germany because she had been declared medically there was nothing that could be done for her. We all know Germany is a country that is renowned for its medical institutions. It has the best surgeons and surgeries in the world. But medically, our sister's case had gone beyond the power of nature. There was no hope. And it was at that point that she discovered Emmanuel TV and came here to Lagos, Nigeria, and just imagine Prophet T.B. Joshua himself did not even pray for her. Just the ministration of the new morning water, and today she is healed. What is your own problem that God will not solve today? Just open your mouth and let them minister the new morning water to you. I'm telling you, your case is settled in heaven. 
to confirm that our sister was completely paralyzed, we heard her say that her menstruation had ceased because all of that part of her body was numb. From her waist down, she was numb. Blood could not flow. Nothing could move. She was completely paralyzed. After the ministration of the new morning water, not only did she begin to walk, her menstruation that had been gone for so many years was restored. She began to urinate freely without the use of, of the catheter. She began to have control of her urine without using the pampers or the diapers and today she is a living testimony to the glory of God. So for our viewers all over the world watching right now, you are not left out. Prophet TB Joshua said the very first people who are going to receive this new morning water are the Emmanuel TV partners all over the world. Get ready, very soon this new morning water is going to be sent to you. If by the grace of God you can come to the church, you'll be among those privileged to receive it, but by the time it is announced on Emmanuel TV, this new morning water will be sent to our partners all over the world. And the same power of God that lifted our mother from a wheelchair, restored her menstruation, restored her ability to urinate, removed that paralysis, that same new morning water is on its way to you, and as you receive it, your life will never remain the same again. If you believe that, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Y este grandioso testimonio del nuevo agua de la mañana, esta mujer que viene desde Alemania, originalmente de Portugal, vino con un problema en su sistema nervioso que no le permitía caminar, además de problemas en su estómago que no le permitía controlar sus esfínteres. Ella estaba, eh, dependía de la silla de ruedas, de catéteres y de pampers para poder sobrevivir y no podía hacer nada, su vida era un caos. Y vino aquí la semana pasada y para la, por la gracia de Dios recibió el nuevo agua de la mañana, se le fue ministrado e inmediatamente ella se levantó de esa silla de ruedas y recibió su sanidad y ahora testifica junto a su hermana y sus amigos que ella está bien, que puede caminar, que controla sus esfínteres y que además su menstruación que por dos años estuvo cesada regresó, así que le da la gloria a Jesucristo y hoy les decimos que el mismo poder que actúa en el nuevo agua de la mañana en ella hoy actuará por ustedes y espectadores de todo el mundo, el profeta ha indicado que los primeros en recibir este agua de la mañana serán los socios de Manuel TV. Recuerden que el poder de Dios está en este nuevo agua de la mañana y es activado por medio de la fe. Así que manténgase conectado y crea que su milagro también está en camino como esta mujer. Continuamos. Vous avez vu le témoignage merveilleux de cette femme qui est venue d'Allemagne avec quatre problèmes. Elle était paralysée pendant huit ans, incapable de marcher. Elle ne pouvait plus aller aux toilettes elle-même. Elle mettait des pampers comme des bébés. Elle ne pouvait même pas uriner. On lui mettait une sonde. Elle était encore en ménopause pré précoce. Tout son corps était complètement détruit, rongé par la maladie. Et les médecins en Allemagne n'ont rien pu lui donner qu'une carte d'invalidité à 100%. Elle était handicapée, invalide. Lorsque par le témoignage d'un ami, elle a entendu parler de Manet TV, elle a regardé et sa foi a grandi. Lorsqu'elle est venue la semaine dernière par l'administration de la nouvelle eau du matin, donnée par l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Ibi Joshua, Dieu a fait quatre miracles dans sa vie. Premièrement, la femme qui ne pouvait, pouvait pas marcher depuis huit ans s'est levée de son fauteuil roulant et marche librement comme vous la voyez. Maintenant, elle va aux toilettes toute seule, elle lui rit sans problème et ses règles qui étaient arrêtées depuis deux ans maintenant commencent à couler en abondance. Jésus l'a guéri, esprit avec un corps et l'a rétabli parfaitement. Alors, le conseil qu'on a à tous ceux qui regardent, la nouvelle eau du matin sera bientôt disponible, mais d'abord elle sera envoyée en premier à tous les partenaires dans le monde entier. Comme l'homme de Dieu l'a dit, dit, elle sera envoyée en premier à tous les partenaires. Vous qui regardez, croyez, la distance n'est pas une barrière. Lorsque cette nouvelle eau du matin commencera à être administrée dans l'église dans quelques instants, touchez votre écran et croyez. La même puissance de Dieu, la puissance de la résurrection va vous toucher où que vous soyez, car la distance n'est pas une barrière. Dans cette heure du matin, il y a le salut, il y a la guérison et toutes les bénédictions de Dieu. Tous les jours au jour dans ta vie seront brisés au nom de Jésus. Croyez seulement. To God be the glory. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ once again. Are you excited to be in the presence of God this morning?
comes. Observe su pantalla y el siguiente video de esta mujer que recibió su sanidad aquí en la Sinago Iglesia de todas las naciones a través del nuevo agua de la mañana. Observe. Le témoignage continue de ce que Dieu a fait dans la puissance miraculeuse de Dieu œuvrant à travers la nouvelle eau du matin qui vient juste de sortir et présentée par l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Ibi Yoshua. Alors que vous regardez que votre foi s'élève, que votre cœur s'édifie, car la solution arrive. To God be the glory. I'm sure many people watching the screen will remember our sister who came last week's Sunday. And as you can see, she had the problem that needed, required her to use a pair of crutches in order to be able to move around. But here you see her walk out today without needing to use the same crutches. To God be the glory. So let's hear from her. Madame, you're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please tell us your name and where you're from and your wonderful testimony. Emmanuel, my name is Hanatu Yusuf. I'm from Abuja. Thank you very much. And what was the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations last week when you were using these crutches? The problem that brought me to Synagogue of All Nations is accidents. I came because I was praying, my feet was short. I cannot explain it. Okay, so just uh, try and explain to us then the accident you had. Tell us exactly what happened to you and what was the reason why you were using these crutches. I was on top of the bike in Abuja around Zuba Road. A vehicle beat a traffic, a jeep came to hit me and it couldn't stop. So since then I was unconscious, they rushed me to the hospital. I was, I was in the hospital for five months, two weeks. After that, they discharged me from the hospital. I came home, I started using my crutches. Still, I didn't get better. So your leg was actually broken in this yes. accident, was it? Yes, okay, I so broke it was my a fracture. right leg, okay. which is this right leg. So after that, they now, they now introduced a hospital for me, the Narcology Hospital in FAB, Lokongoma Estate. So I went there, I spent four months, still nothing could be resolved. They now introduced a native, one of our counter, because I was working with disease control before. So after that, I left to native, I spent five months, three weeks. Nothing could be resolved. They now introduce another place to me that should go to Niger Republic. I become communicate with the man but my faith doesn't move me. I don't know why. So I say let me go to Senegal of all nations because I, we have the China in our house. I watch it steadily. I'm a Muslim but I watch it because I believe there is God there. To God be the glory. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we've heard our sister explaining the effort she has gone through so many different hospitals and even looking for solution elsewhere apart from medicine, but all was to no avail. And just before we get to the point of how you came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations last week, can you paint the picture a bit better for us of how this problem affected your life in terms of your career and taking care of yourself at home? How did the, the problem of this fracture of your leg and having to depend on these crutches affect you? Actually, she, my problem really affected me to the extent I lose my job. I was planning my wedding. My wedding was one month, three days. My fiancé disappointed me. Hmm. We can really see that this was the plan of the devil to destroy our sister's life, not only to rob her of her job, but even of a future partner and happiness just a short time to the period of her wedding. And obviously then, if that could happen to her, all other areas of her life had been affected terribly. So tell us, sister, when you came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations and the new morning water was ministered on you, what was your experience? My experience is that before I used to feel a pain, I can't sleep, 
to the extent I started thinking he lead me to BP. I was placed in BP this thing. Last time they admitted me in the hospital for three days. But to God be the glory, the PP has come down, I sleep well and the pain have reduced. I thank God for him to use me as one of the for him to use it, uh, for him to use me as one of the person that he delivered last week. I to, to God be the glory. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus, the miracle worker. So you mean that since they used the morning, the new morning water on you last week, now you're able to walk freely, you no longer need these crutches, and you are, you are being completely healed? Yes, I don't normally use these crutches. Since last week, I left the crutches on the church. It was when I come this morning, I collected it to give a testimony. I thank God for what God has did for me, and I pray she's going to do for me more better than this. I Amen. Pray. Put your hands together for Jesus. So right now, to demonstrate what you can do now that God Almighty has set you free through the medium of the new morning water, we're going to ask you to walk out a short distance and exercise yourself for the glory of God. I can walk now. My walk is okay. I can walk very well. I thank God. I thank God. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus once again. I thank God. This is what our sister had been unable to do for almost two years, that she had been depending on moving with these crutches due to a fracture of her leg sustained in an accident. But now, after the ministration of the new morning water, you can see she is completely healed. So tell us, madam, what is your word of advice to people watching you all over the world? The word of advice, I want to tell the people that they should hold God. With God, everything is possible. Because... It's not by God's grace I could not be here. And with the prayer, I'll be praying, crying, that God, I want you to heal me. I want you to take my life to somewhere because I cannot bring. Because when the accident happened, I was staying at home. I don't do anything. I always stay in the pile. Everybody go to work. I will not go to anywhere. But now God Almighty has turned your tears of sorrow and hardship into tears of joy for the glory of God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So, now that you are healed, the last question we want to ask you is what are you going to do with these crutches? I'm going to throw it away right away. Continue using my money water by His grace. In Jesus' name, He's going to heal me completely. To God be the glory. So we have heard from our sister how she came here in tears, unable to walk by herself, depending on this pair of crutches. And it was when she came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations that the new morning water was ministered to her, and that was how she was able to move freely all by herself. So now I want to watch on the screen and see the exact time how she received her healing through the ministration of the new morning water. Escuchamos. A lady using a pair of crutches, slowly, one step at a time, balances her body on both crutches to avoid putting weight on her legs. Tired of her situation, Ms. Anatu Yusuf came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations after being in an accident which left her with fractured tibia and fibula bones. The medical report shows that despite being treated for one year, she was still left dependent on crutches to walk. The x-ray shows the severity of her case. We can clearly see bones have been shifted out of place. Following what the Bible says in Matthew 11:28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. My name is Anansu Yusuf. I'm from Abuja. My age is 28 years. I have an accident to the tibia fibula bone. I'm using the crutches, and this is one year, two months now. I'm booked for operation. It affected me a lot because 
I was working in a private company. I lost my job. I was prepared for my wedding. My fiancé ran away because of my condition. And things have not been going well to me. I've been to Uche Hospital. It didn't work. I've been to another hospital. It didn't work. One private hospital, then ecology. I've been to Native for five months, two weeks, and still yet. So I can't go out, so I normally go to go. I don't work again. I'm searching for a job because of my condition. I can't go anywhere. The x ray is meant for the place I went to the scanning. That is how the leg is. My leg has broken, and it has not said. They asked me to go for the operation, and I don't have the money. And this x ray is going for this x ray that I do for my leg. That the leg that get broke, that is the, the my right leg that you are seeing in the string. I believe God will do it for me. That is why I left the way from Abuja to Lagos. I believe God will use that TV Joshua to use it to heal my leg for me. Amen. I have the fraction of the leg of tibia and kibria in my leg. So I have went to the hospital, Uzi Hospital. I treated it for five months. It didn't work. I I used crutches, it didn't work. I went for native for five months, two weeks. It didn't work. So I believe when I come here, God is going to use that TV Joshua to help me because it has been affecting my life. I'm working in disease control. I'm one of the in charge of the cleaner and the gardeners in Abuja. But because of this, my accident, I lose my job and I lose my loved one. Because that time I was planning for my wedding when I had an accident. Things has not been easy for me. I believe if Jesus is going to heal me. That is why I'm here. And the doctor booked me for another operation and I don't have money to afford it. I believe with Jesus, he will heal me and he will help me. Thank you. We also want to let you know that the Son of Man has been made manifest today in order to destroy the works of the devil in your life in Jesus' name. Father, for your glory, Lord, for your power, Lord, for your glory, Lord, every sickness, every disease, ah! let there be life for your glory, Lord. Let there be life for your power, Lord. Every sickness, every disease. Out! Out! In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Rise up, sister. Jesus has set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I can walk. Now I'm okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Acabamos de ver el video de esta maravillosa sanidad que esta mujer que está en este momento recibió a través del nuevo medio del agua de la mañana. Ella nos cuenta que tuvo un accidente en una motocicleta y ella tuvo una fractura en su tibia y en su peroné, lo cual le impidió desplazarse, moverse, le impidió continuar con sus actividades diarias. Esta mujer estaba en dolor, estaba en frustración y nos cuenta que fue a muchos lugares en busca de solución a hasta que decidió venir a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones el domingo pasado, recibió la administración con el nuevo agua de la mañana y hoy está aquí declarando su maravilloso testimonio para la gloria de Dios. Vemos que ella ha lanzado sus muletas y su problema y su fractura ahora son un asunto del pasado. La gloria sea para Jesucristo. Cette femme vient de partager son témoignage avec nous. Elle dit qu'elle s'appelle Mrs. Anidou Yousouf. Elle a eu un accident de, de motocyclette. Et cet accident a occasionné une fracture double de l'os du péroné et du tibia. Donc les médecins ne pouvaient rien faire d'autre que de le préconiser de, à, pour utiliser ces deux paires de béquilles pour se déplacer. Et l'accident est arrivé quelques mois avant son mariage. Et ça affectait toute sa vie. La souffrance est terrible. Elle ne pouvait plus se déplacer d'elle-même tellement la souffrance était grande. Mais lorsqu'elle est venue la semaine dernière, la L'administration de la nouvelle eau du matin a fait le miracle. Dieu l'a visité et restauré. Elle a été guérie instantanément, comme vous le voyez. Elle se levait de son, de son siège. Elle a abandonné ses béquilles. Elle marche librement guérie et restaurée. Que Dieu vous bénisse et ouvre votre cœur. To God be the glory. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we have seen exactly what happened last week through the ministration of the new morning water. And we saw 
uh, sister, when you are receiving the prayer with the new morning water that you said you believe Jesus Christ is going to heal you completely. And now he has completely healed you through this morning water. I want to ask you, what exactly are you going to do with Jesus? That is the question to you to think about. Because remember, what you do with Jesus Christ now will determine how you will enjoy the miracle you have received. And we believe with you, this miracle will continue to be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Escuchamos el maravilloso testimonio de esta mujer y esta mujer ha recibido su maravillosa sanidad, su liberación a través del medio del agua de la mañana. Ella nos cuenta que tuvo un accidente en motocicleta y tuvo una fractura en su, fem, en su peroné y en su tibia y ella fue a muchos lugares en busca de solución, sin embargo no la pudo encontrar. Hasta que finalmente llegó a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones donde recibió la administración del nuevo agua de la la mañana y para la gloria de Dios la vimos caminando majestuosamente a la luz de su testimonio. Ella ha lanzado sus muletas porque son ahora hace parte de su pasado y ella ahora ha sido restaurada de adentro hacia afuera. Ha sido restaurada en su alma, ha sido restaurada en su espíritu y en su salud física también y le damos gloria a Jesucristo. Así que televidentes queremos animarles a que ustedes sigan conectados con Emanuel TV. Recuerde que la distancia no es una barrera. Recuerde que podemos eh, adquirir eh, estas bendiciones, ustedes también son participantes eh, televidentes, ustedes pueden recibir su bendición tocando la pantalla porque la bendición y la unción están disponibles. Continuamos. To God be the glory, and, and we heard during the course of your testimony of just what you have lost through this uh, experience of sickness and, and uh, inability to walk. You mentioned of how you lost your job. You mentioned of how just at the point of marriage you were disappointed. We believe that this experience you have gone through, God Almighty just wants to strengthen your desire and your determination for Him. Because we believe Emmanuel TV is being watched all over the world. And with this miracle you have received now, because we can all see you are a very beautiful woman, that that husband, those people God Almighty has sent into your life, they are just waiting for you now to get your contact, to get your call, to get your information. And we know that your life will never remain the same. And the job that you said you have lost, a better job is coming for you. The job that God Almighty has destined for you to have. So you should rejoice with what God Almighty has done in order to bring you close and teach you how to live for Him in spirit and in truth. And we encourage you, for those whose lives are centered in Christ Jesus, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Esta mujer también nos cuenta que había... Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm very, very grateful. Que aparte de este problema físico que estaba enfrentando, estaba enfrentando limitación por causa de este accidente que ella tuvo. Ella tuvo que salir de su trabajo, pero en este momento ella ha recibido un mensaje profético en el que ella va a ser restaurada nuevamente en sus finanzas, va a tener un nuevo trabajo mucho mejor, porque el profeta ha dicho que lo mejor está por venir para esta mujer y también ella como está soltera, ella va a recibir su ayuda idónea en el tiempo de Dios. Continuamos. We have been listening to wonderful testimonies of what the power of the Mosaic God has done in the life of the people through the medium of the money water. I will see how many more People that want to share with us the wonderful and glorious things that God has done in their lives through the medium of the morning water. The testimony we are about to listen to will go a long way to increase your faith in Christ Jesus and to prove beyond reasonable doubt that Jesus cares and loves each and every one of us. So any moment from now, we're going to be hearing directly from the person, the testimony concern. We have heard so much about the wonderful thing God is doing in the life of the people through the medium of the new morning water. 
the woman that came in the vehicle unable to work and after the ministration she was completely set free she walked in here herself and testify to the glory of God that she has been set free from the problem of inability to work and I know that you listening to the testimony it has increased your faith and give you that courage and confidence that today your case will not escape the anointing of God in Jesus name so say to your neighbor today my case will not escape the anointing of God so let us listen to another testimony so tell us your name and share with us your testimony people of God Emmanuel Emmanuel if God is with us People of God, my name is uh, Obia Chibike Mephosin. I'm from Olo in Imo State. So what brought me to synagogue is uh, as a before result you tell of... Us, before you tell us more about what God has done in your life, can you please introduce those who are with you? Okay. The woman beside me is the woman God used to connect me while I was in prison to the man of God, Prophet, Prophet B. Joshua. He was the woman that came here and brought me morning water and brought it to me while I was in, in death row where I was awaiting okay. execution. The next woman beside her. Mm -hmm. okay. The next woman beside her is my mother. Uh -huh. And the old man sitting? And the, the man sitting down is my uncle. And the other brother standing? And the last person, but not the least, is my cousin brother, because my dad is late. Okay, okay, now share with us your testimony. Okay, in the year 2011, I was student of a, a Boy State University, Department of Medicine and Surgery. Then I was there, there was a boy in the school who is also a microbiology student. So the boy, the boy is a cultist, and the boy was asking me, trying to lure me into cultism, which I refused. He tried to persuade me to join cultism. I refused. He tries in, so, in several ways to make sure that I concord, but I refused. Then the boy said that as long as I refuse to join him to be a cultist, that he's going to deal with me as long as I'm in. A, a Boy State University, precisely Abakleke. So there, there was an issue that arose in the school. There was a fight that was arose in the school, and someone was murdered. And the person that was murdered is like an adopted son to the vice chancellor of a Boy State University. So when the incident take, took place, the boy went to the vice chancellor of a Boy State University and showed the the man that I'm the one responsible for the disease, to what leads to the disease death. So when, the, when this incident happened, I was in my hostel. The police came to the hostel and arrested me and arrested some other hostel inmates. So then I was taken to the police divisional station. From, from police station, I was transferred to the uh, state CID, which is in Abakleke metropolis. So there I, I was. Then after some investigation, so some other seven people were later resist based on no case submission. So there I was until they now, uh, until they now took, took my matter to the magistrate court. Then from the magistrate court, the, ma the chief magistrate court said that the matter is a capital offense that is beyond the magistrate court and therefore he hereby remind me to prison and the matter will be taken to high court for further hearing. So then I was taken to Abakleke prison. That was where I was since 2011. I was in Abakleke prison since 2011, 2012, 2013. I going, going for trial. Each and every day I have a date court. The Black Maria will come to the gate. I will enter Black Maria. I will be handcuffed. I will be, I'll be handcuffed and leg cuffed. And I will be taken to the high court. Because the person that was, that was that was trying my case was the Chief Justice of Ebony State. Then, reaching on the November 28th of November 20, November 28th being 2014, that was the day of the judgment. So, 
the day of the judgment, they came to the prison and took me to the, the, to the court. Then, uh, based on the evidence surrounding the matter, after the judgment, I've read the judgment, the ruling of the judgment. The judge, the judge said that based on the evidence surrounding my, this my case, that he hereby found me guilty, guilty of this offense. He hereby found me guilty of this offense, and by the power conferred on him as the Chief Justice of Ebony State, he hereby sentenced me to death, to die by hanging. So from there they took me to prison, then I can get some of my belongings, then they handcuffed me, then I entered into the Black Maria, they took me from um, Abakleke Medium Prison, and now transferred me to Enugu Madmum Prison, because that is where they used to keep those that had been condemned to death. Then there I was in Enugumai's mom prison awaiting for the day of execution. Then there I lost hope. I have no one because since I was facing trial in Abakleke, every of my every I have lost everything. I don't have my dad is late. My uncle they have spent so much money, millions of naira, to make sure that I was discharged and set free from the high court. But at the end of the day, every of the of their efforts seems to be abortive. All their efforts is all in, in vain. So when I was I've been sentenced to death now and I've been transferred to Enugu's mom prison waiting for execution, they all lost hope in me that I will never come out again, that I'm gone forever. So there I was, I have nothing to do, I was just crying and said, God, how can this happen to me? I'm innocent of this matter, I never committed any crime, just that someone wants to suffer me because he felt that every power belongs to them. So there I was in Nugumas mom prison, so that was the day I was in the cell, then they opened the cell door, they called me out to go for, because there was a, there was a prison chapel inside the prison yard. So I went for church, so when I get inside the church, I look at the screen, I saw a man like television. Then when I saw a man on television, I started watching the man on television, seeing what they are doing, and as I'm seeing some prisoners outside, they came here to testify how they, with the help of the morning water, how they were set free from the prison. Then I said that if the man of God can do this for other people abroad, then me here in Nigeria, I believe the man of God will say do it for me. So there I was, they reaching, after I must have meditated within this within my mind, then they took me back to the cell where I was in, in my cell. I still praying, telling God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, help me. But the problem is that how am I going to, uh, who will come here to bring my case here? I have nobody. Even my mother cannot even afford 59 to enter transport, how much to come here? So I was wondering what to do. God, how am I going to reach Emmanuel TV or Emmanuel Prophet TV Joshua? Then reach one day, this woman beside me is an evangelist. She's into prison administration. She do come to a prison. She go to the CC block. Those that have been sentenced to death is being kept. She ministered the word of God to them, tell them to repent and give their life to Christ before their execution. So there I was one day, this woman came. So when the woman came, so when the woman came, when the woman came, she met me. She asked me, what is my name and what am I doing here? I told him that I'm Obi and she became and look at what brought me here. She asked me if I committed. I said, no, I did not do anything. I'm just here for the sake that I have no one to help me out. The woman said, oh no, that this, this is somehow, that, that, this, that this is somehow ridiculous. So okay, there's no problem. He prayed for me, so that, that I should not worry that one day I'll go out of prison. I said, amen. Then I called her, said, mama, please, there's something I want you to help me to do. Please, I don't know, can you do that for me? She said, what is that? I said, okay, now, what I want to do for me, do you know of Emmanuel, a prophet, T.B. Joshua, Emmanuel Synagogue? She said, yes, she, she knows there. She had been there once. I said, please, madam, I want you to go to Emmanuel the Synagogue, Church of All Nations. Go there. Tell prophet T.B. Joshua that there is someone here who has been sentenced to death to die by hanging. I'm just waiting for execution. I don't know when the day is going to be. That I want him to pray for me so that I will get out of this place. Because I don't, I don't, I don't nothing to deserve to die unnecessarily. So the woman said, if that's what I, I want, that she's going to do that for me. So the woman asked me, that, where am I coming from? Because she's from Enugu State. I don't know her before. I have not come in contact before. That was my first time of seeing her while I was in, in death row. So then she now, I, I told her where I'm coming from Olo, I'm from Olo in Nemo State. She said okay, that she gave her my dress, I directed her my dress. She traveled from Enugu and went to my place and see my mother. When she went to my place, she saw my mother, she told my mother whom she is, then she asked my mother to give her some of my pictures and other things, that I want to take it somewhere. Then my mother concurred and at the end of the day, she came to the uh, synagogue, Church of All Nations. Then after some weeks later, she brought the, this uh, 
morning anointing water and this booklet and this. Then when she brought it, she advised me on how to be ministering it every morning when I, when I wake up. I said, okay, thank you very much. I believe that with this, that I will be set and go out of this place based on the power of prophets, based on the power of uh, God of prophet T.B. Joshua, I will be delivered as long as I'm innocent of this offense. Unless I'm guilty of this offense. But if I'm innocent of this offense, I must surely go out of this place. <laughs> and we can see how emotional the brother is right now. He's telling us his ordeals, how he was on the death row as a result of a case against him that he murdered someone while he was in school and why in death row he want to share with us what his experiences were before God Almighty intervened and brought him out and is here today sharing what God has done for him. So we want to ask you these few questions before you continue. You mean uh, the woman standing by you She's a lady evangelist, and you saw her for the first time when she came visiting you at the maximum prison where you are in the condemned cell. Y yes, yes. I'm not, I, don't know, I don't know her before. That was my first time of seeing her, and that was how I come to know her. And that is when you told her you would like her to please visit the synagogue on your behalf. Yes. And inform the man of God about your condition while you are on the death row. Yes. So she went, met with your family, took your picture. Yes. And now she came to the synagogue. Yes. After she visited the synagogue, she returned to you with the money water we are seeing with you, yes. the face bracelet, yes. and also uh, informed you how you should minister it. Yes. So now tell us what happened after you ministered the money water and used the face bracelet. So when I start ministering the, 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 the morning anointing water, every morning and when I wake up, I will pray. Say, God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, I've been seeing what you are doing to other people. I know that my own will not be a different case. You will still do the same just like you are doing for others. I believe that you will set me free. I will, I will splash it in my mouth. I will touch it on my body. Then I will wear this thing. When I want to pray, I will put it in my tongue. I do it like this. I will, so that's how I've been doing it. So there, because in the in death row, death row is not an ordinary something. It's a place is, that is, you are restricted to anything. You are just one place. That's where I was for over seven years now. And my, 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 medical, my medical career has been lost. I chatted. So then I was saying, God, what kind of life is this? Even sometimes I got to know, say, if, what, what, what kind of life is this? Even if I, sometimes I would say, how oh, I wish I'm the, the guy that died. If I'd been better than staying alive, seeing my death. Because prison, death row is like hell on earth. That is when I come to know that there is something like hell. If here I can be tormenting like this, how much more hell? How good that place going to be? So now I started doing all these things. So when I was doing all these things, then reaching one day, I was sleeping. And when I was sleeping, I was just passing by. I heard what I was doing, what I was singing and doing praises. When I looked by, I saw man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. She... For clarity, so that people can understand what you are saying, because you said you saw yourself just passing by and you saw the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Were you dreaming then or physically? That was in the dream. I was dreaming then. Okay. So right in the dream, then I was passing by. When I look, I saw a very big, mighty cathedral. Man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, was putting on a white garment, preaching, ministering, and there was a music at the background, songs and praises at the background. I said, oh no, this is the man that I wanted to see. Let me, guys, let me use this opportunity to see the man of God. So when I was going, some, 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 some men blocked me at the gate, saying that I can't see the man of God, that who am I? I said, they should allow me to see this man I've been looking to see since saw this way. This is an opportunity for me to see him. They should allow me, please. They said, no, they can't allow me. That is not how they do that, that, how they do it here. I said, okay, now, listen. I'm a gospel singer. I can sing very well. I want to go right in there and sing with them. They say, are you sure that you can sing? I say, yes, I can. I sing very well. I say, they say, okay, now, nah, they, 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 they just, the man just do his hand like this, and mic just appear. I say, I look at this mic, they can sing. Then I start singing. When I say, okay, they say, okay, yes, he, she, he can sing, he can sing. Then, when I start singing, then, man of God say, who is that person singing over there? They say, that's right, it's one person I want to see you. So, then I, the man of God said, please, allow him, allow him. 
allow him. So they now cleared. I passed them and meet man of God. I said, man of God, see, I want you to deliver me out of prison. I'm innocent. I did not do anything to deserve all this for over seven years. I'm in death row, waiting for execution. Man of God said that I said, what do I, I said, I want you to deliver. I want to be free. Man of God, said, now the man, the prophet, a senior man of God, prophet, and I said that you are already free. Now you're not the one coming to church saying, and you are telling me to deliver you. You are already a free person. So for the purpose of those who are not paying attention, we want you to repeat what you said now. In that dream, when they asked you to sing and you, uh, you sang, and that attracted the attention of the man of God, and you came in, tell us what happened again, the encounter you had with the man of God in the dream. Okay, just like I said before, I said that when they allowed me to see the man of God, I approached the man of God and said, man of God, I've been wanting to see you since all this while, that I was sentenced to death innocently for doing nothing, just because I have no one to speak for me. Please, deliver me out of death row. I'm here just waiting for execution. They may decide to sign my execution any day, and I will be gone for just like that. The man of God now responded, saying that, why are you telling me to, to deliver you? Why you are already delivered? Are you not the one coming to church? You are already in, you are no more in the prison now. That's what man of God said. So when, I, when he said that I'm no more in the prison, then I got excited, and when I look around, I woke up. So when I woke up, I look around, it was in the prison. Oh no. I say, I, I say well, I believe that this thing, this thing, this is a sign that one day I'm going to come out of this place. So now, after, the, after, that, after this incident, in the next two weeks' time, I was in the death roll, meditating within myself. Then, the award that came to my and called Obi Hachibiki, I said, Sir, he said I should come out. I was wondering where are they taking me to. Then they now took me to the prison welfare, which is inside the prison yard. So when I get there, so I saw one man, one huge man, the woman was putting suit, black and black, black suit up and down. So the, the man now said that, am I Obi on I said yes. He said okay, that he is here for me, that he is here to set me free out of death roll. So I say, you are here to set me free out of death roll. Because since I entered into death roll, I met some elderly men that like 60 something years in death roll. So when I ask them, Daddy, when do you come to this place? They will tell me that I came here since 1981. Some will say I came here since 1985. And those, those that have not been born on earth. So I was wondering, is this how I'm going to spend all year? So, oh God. Then I was saying, they sent you to come and deliver me out of death roll. He said, yes. I said, sent by who? The, the, the pastor said, by nobody, she just feed. The Spirit of God just directed him to come for me. Now, based on what I heard from the fellow death sentence inmates that, that I'm the same cell with, some have gone to IP courts and IP courts fed them. They have gone to Supreme Court of Nigeria and Supreme Court, uh, Supreme Court of Nigeria fed them. So, and they said that they, before a barrister will take your matter, from death row to appeal or to appeal for your case, that at least you have 2 million naira or 2.5 million naira. So when they said this, that I concluded that this is how I've gone. I said that because no one, no one is going to provide, even if you sell every of our houses, you cannot afford that kind of money. Nobody can bring that kind of money. My mom cannot look at the woman here. It's because of this, this case that he, he was like this. Because he, he has tried all his possible ways, and they have been even forgetting me, thinking that I've gone. They have even put me in that I've been dead and buried, and they have forgotten about me since I've been pronounced that I'm sentenced to death. So I said, now you say, you say you are here to set me free, to take my matter to a court, and you said that nobody sent you. Then I said, no, that this thing, this thing could be, this is very, very suspicious. Maybe the Ebo State government have sent this man to come and say that he wants to deliver me. Maybe this is to sign my death warrant indirectly. I said, please, I'm not going to sign this thing. I don't know you. That before I sign, I will know the source who sent you to start with, the man said that why are you stay why are you saying all this? See, I'm a senior advocate, or I'm a senior, I'm a son. See, before people contact me, is with millions of naira, and I don't even listen to several cases. But I don't know why I'm interested in your case. Well, why I'm interested in your case because I knew you are innocent of this matter, and that's why I came to pull you out of prison. And you are telling me that you are not, you are not going to sign. Do you want to remain in prison, my friend? I should send this and let him pull me out of this prison. 
I said, man, I said, sir, who sent you? Tell me who sent you. I will sign. He said, he was sent by the spirits of God directed him. Then I was wondering that in death row there were over 300 and something death row inmates in any maximum prison. Then all of us, it's only me that he said that he wants to save. I said, okay, there's nobody saying, uh, barrister, you can go. Let me make some investigation for if I can sign. The man now left. Then I now signed for this evangelist to come to the prison. So when she came to the prison, I said, look at what is happening. That woman came and said that the Spirit of God directed him.